Hi, my name is Rory Yosef Trauper, and I thank you so much for joining. This is Parshas Ves Hanan, and the title is Absolute Truth, Rabbi Yosef Shalom El Yashiv, Zechar Tzadik Lebracha. The purpose of this segment is to provide a short and thought-provoking idea on the Parsha. In our Parsha, in Parak Dalad Pasuk Beis, the verse reads, Velo sigro imenu. We're not allowed to subtract from Torah. And there's a medrash that says, Afilo os achas, not even a single letter could be detracted. And the question that some of Farsham ask is, what does this mean? What is the significance of, uh, or what is so severe if we were to detract one letter? What, what would that mean? What would that do? What effect would that have on the Torah? And I saw a beautiful shot by Rav Yosef Shalom Yashiv, which really expresses this idea and really embodies who he was as well. Uh, he says a, a mushal, a parable, that there was one time a man that didn't have too much to do with society, uh, he had amassed a lot of wealth, and he had a lot of money. Um, but he didn't really know that much about the world around him. And there was a town folk, one of the townsfolk in a nearby town was looking for a loan, and was looking around to see who would give him money, but people didn't trust him because he wasn't so honest. And so he finally decided one day that he was going to go venture out to this nomad who lived further out, and try to find out and see if maybe he'd lend him money. So he knocks on the door, and the man opens it after a couple of knocks and he looks at this uh, villager and says, could I help you? So the villager says, listen, I'm making an investment and I'm starting a business and I need to borrow a large sum of money. And um, so the man looks at him and says, so why are you coming to me? So he said, well, I'm having trouble getting the money and I was hoping that you'd lend it to me. So he looks at him and he says, well, how do I know that you're going to pay me back? Like, why, why should I trust you? So the villager says, no, don't worry, I'll tell you exactly what we're going to do. We're going to write a written contract. So the guy looks at him and says, well, what does that mean? So he says, no, if I write a written contract that you're lending me this exact amount of money and I'll write down how much money you gave me uh, and I'll sign it, then that's going to be your proof that you lent me the money. And if you ever need to, you could take me to court and you could demand the money out. So you'll have a written guarantee that I'm going to give you the money. So the man thought and he said, okay. That sounds logical. Fine. So he lent him the money. Let's say it was $100,000. And he lent him the money. Well, after a few months, this villager came back and he started making some money of his own. And he paid back half of the loan. Paid him back $50,000. And so he looked at the man and he told him, listen, I told you I, I was going to fulfill my role. Uh, I paid it back. And look, I'm an honest guy. So the nomad looked at him and said, okay, yeah, I hear, I hear, you're right, you're an honest person. So the villager said to him, okay, now since I paid you half, now give me the document that we had written, and now we're going to rip it, and you'll keep half, and I'll keep half. And so the man said, okay, that makes sense, you paid me half. And they ripped it and they split it. And, of course, the villager was never seen again. Says Rabbi Yashiv, it's quite obvious that the man that ripped the star, ripped the document, so he didn't know anything about society because a ripped document is now worthless. And so he says the same thing, that we have to look at Torah, that it's so chashev and so important that if we even think that we're going to take out, rip out a letter, then that could knock out the entire thing. If we ever look down and say, oh, that's not so important, then it's in essence it's like we're ripping the entire contract. It's like we're destroying the entire contract. And the Torah is something that stands for peace and stands for truth. And that's what it's all about. And in fact, Rabbi Yashiv is a Chetzalik Levracha, who Kal Yisrael are all in mourning for his passing. He was known to be a man of truth and honesty. That was one thing that all of his Talmudim said about him, that he always stood for truth. And if you had an idea to express with him, and if it sounded like it was truthful, truthful, then he would encourage you. But if there was something that wasn't so true in what you were saying, he would catch you on it, and he would make a comment. And this was something that really he stood for. He fought for what was truthful, and he abhorred and stayed far away from anything that wasn't honest. And in fact, he even used to give a shear for many, many, many years. And his introduction to Pesachus Brachos, when he started Shas, he said a very beautiful thing. He said that if you take the Torah, the Torah, one of the most important things in the Torah is the Asaras Adibros. And the Asaras Adibros starts with the letter Aleph, Anochi Hashem Elokecha. It's an Aleph. And if you take the Mishnayis, which is the foundation of Torah Shual Peh, the oral tradition. So the first Mishnah is in Brachos, and it's Me'emasai. When do we say Shema at night? And so that's a Mem. And if we take the first Gemara in Shas, in Brachos, it starts with the word Tana. So it's a Taf. So he says that's Emes. 
Rosh Tavarcha Emes, the beginning of the words of Torah, are truth. That's what Torah is all about, the ultimate truth. And that's what Rebel Yashiv stood for. And that's a, one of the messages that we could take from him. That Torah is truth, and we keep the Torah, and, we're, and we can't even go against one single letter, because then it's like we're ripping up the entire document. I thank you so much for joining, and I hope that you enjoyed. For questions, or comments, or sponsorship, please contact me. Thank you.